Hi guys, it's Amiga, and I haven't done a video in a while. It's been a minute, and yet COVID is still here. I just want it to go away. Probably won't till whenever, but anyway. I hope you guys are staying safe and well. I have been well, no um, health issues, but uh, yeah, the summer has been strange. COVID is still here, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. However, I did make a couple pieces and um, I'm gonna share those with you. One is right here and I'll share that with you in a minute. And then a couple items of my current wardrobe, I actually just altered. I had some jeans that had the weirdest legs, the, the legs that weren't the boot cut and it wasn't bell bottom, but they were so weird on the bottom that I just never wore them. So I decided to cut them off and make them like Bermuda shorts. And what I did is I cut them off, I cuffed them and just made them Bermuda length shorts. And now I like wearing them. You know, it's so weird sometimes how th things are hanging in your closet and you mean to take care of it. And I finally did that. So I have two pair of Bermuda length shorts and jeans that I enjoy wearing. So that's a good thing. So on this top, I showed you guys this fabric a while ago. I got it in Chicago at Vogue Fabrics, and it's been years ago. Now that is a chalet, but it looks really, really nice with white jeans or white, um, you know, crop pants. It looks nice with white bottoms. So that's what I'll be wearing that with when I do wear it anywhere. <laughs> It's, oh gosh, guys. Uh, you know, funny thing is, speaking of places to wear things, um, funny thing is, we did have one family get together um, celebrating a birthday. And uh, so, yeah, we got together and that was really nice. But the funny thing is, when I went to that, I decided, ah, this is an opportunity to dress up. And do you know, I did not wear anything that I made. I, I, I don't know why I had, I, I wanted to wear something kind of bright and cheerful. And I ended up wearing an orange top, like this chiffon orange top over a white tank and, and, and um, cropped pants. And later on, I thought, ah, why didn't I wear something that I made? I don't know, just weird. But anyway, at some point, hopefully I'll get to wear that with some crop white pants. Long story. <laughs> but let me show you the pattern that I use to make that. It's a see and sew pattern, pattern number 6473. See and sew 6473. And I'll show you the back so you can see the line drawings. That is what this pattern is made from. Easy pattern, this is the view that I made, short sleeve, sorry, the glare, short sleeve and uh, kind of a peplum type bottom. But yeah, it's it's a uh, elastic waist. I'm gonna put it on and show it to you guys. Um, at the end, I'll show you that and the other item that I made. So if you all remember, I did share this tie-dye that I just love. It is so soft and luscious. Ah, it is so soft. But I could only see this as a maxi dress to wear on the beach. I just saw myself wearing this on the beach. Well, I haven't been to the beach. And this summer I ain't going to the beach. So this will be for next summer. <laughs> So, there is the dress. It's a maxi dress. And I'll show you guys a picture of me in it. Hopefully, I can show you the whole thing. I may have to take a picture of it out in my hallway so you can see the whole dress. But, 
I made that. And so that leads me to telling you about what else I've been doing other than sewing. So I made that pattern out of this. This is a PDF pattern by Love Notions. And it's simply called Summer Basics. You can make a regular tank top, such as that one. You can make a regular tank dress like that. That's just showing front and back. And then here's the maxi length dress here. So I decided on the maxi length dress and it is by a company again, by a company called Love Notions. So guys, it's a PDF pattern. This is it in the envelope. I taped it together. Um, let me just take it out real quick so you can see what a pattern piece looks like. So yeah, it's all, you know, several pages taped together. And I will talk more about that. In fact, after this, I will make another video showing you some of the PDF patterns that I've purchased. What I have found is I never thought I would do a PDF pattern because I didn't, at first, didn't like the idea of having to tape all those pages together. Well, I have found that I actually enjoy that because I like puzzles. I like putting puzzles together. And that's kind of like putting together a puzzle. And you know what? Honestly, sewing is like putting together a puzzle too. So I guess that's why I like sewing so much. But I ended up getting like, I've gotten, well, I have about 10 or 11 of them that I've actually taped together and cut out. That's what I've been doing. And I am going to do my next video. We'll be talking about PDF patterns. There are several reasons why I do actually like them now. Um, this came out great. Actually, it was a little too big for me. And I had to take it in a little bit. Um, but I love the fact that the size is much more extended than the big four sizes and there's a lot less adjusting that I have to do to make one of their patterns. So I really like this one and there's several different companies that I have actually downloaded. Um, I've only cut out though and or, or taped together and cut out two of the companies that simply have my favorite, um, the projects that I would make here soon. Um, but I will talk about that in my next video. So just look out for that. And then I did talk to you guys about buying fabric. Well, even though I was going to try to not buy so much fabric, I did it again. Yeah, I did it again. Only a few pieces from my favorite fabric store and then one from a new fabric store so I'm going to do even a separate video on the fabric haul because I want to tell you about this one piece of fabric that is so gorgeous. So it's coming up in the video after I talk about the PDF patterns. So really today I just wanted to pop on and tell you about the two pieces that I made since we last, since you've last seen me. And I'm going to try these on for you, and there will be pictures at the end of the video. So keep watching. I'm going to show pictures, and then I'll say goodbye. So hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back in my top. wanted to just show you what it looks like on. Um, I, I really like it. It's a nice, easy-to-wear top, short sleeves. I do have a little tank top underneath because... I'm not one for showing a lot of cleavage, and it's just a little more comfortable to wear a tank top underneath, and that helps uh, the white pop out, because I would wear it with white pants, even though I have on some jeans today, but that's what it looks like. It's just elastic waist. I do enjoy the, the way it fits, and uh, it's really comfortable in the waist, and in every way so this is the top from this pattern 
the see and sew actually which I don't know what company does see and sew Betterick Betterick does see and sew but um, yeah that is the top so now I'm going to show you the maxi dress and I think I'll have to take my camera in the hallway for you to get a full view so hold on okay guys <laughs> I'm in the hallway to show you my maxi dress and I like it. I like it a lot. So this is the maxi where you see it full length. Had to back up quite a bit, so hopefully you can see it. And I just like it. It's very comfortable and um, you know, it will be airy on the beach. So there's my tank maxi dress. I like it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my share of these two projects and I will be back to talk about the PDF patterns. Um, I'll just do that on a separate video just so I can kind of go into detail and, and um, share what I like and don't like and um, and what I look forward to making very soon using PDF patterns. So I'll be back really soon to share that. So thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.